The city of Caldwell has a few murals displayed around the city, but leaders want to embrace the arts more as some other Treasure Valley cities have. So they decided to bring a large scale mural to the town. Hector Mendoza tells us more about this project. The city of Caldwell wanted a way to showcase all the great things about the city and the state of Idaho, and what better way than a mural? I was very excited. I was excited to come back to Idaho. Yulia Gustinovich, an artist originally from Belarus, now living in Washington, D.C., has done some cool artwork for another city in the Treasure Valley. I painted a mural in Boise. I don't know if you saw it. It's a uh, Jefferson building. It's right downtown near the city. That mural caught the eye of the city of Caldwell. We were just blown away by what she had designed and what she had put together. So it was a pretty easy sell for us, quite frankly. Stephen Jenkins, the economic development director with the city of Caldwell, says they were also impressed with the Gustinovich's design proposal for Caldwell's first large-scale mural on the outside of the new apartments near Indian Creek Plaza. So this artist is from outside our area, and she was able to incorporate some components of Idaho and, and also the city of Caldwell that we felt were, were very interesting and intriguing to not just our history, but the, but the future of where the city's going. There is a coyote. It's hard to see from here, but it's a mascot of uh, College of Caldwell. Also, there are a lot of agriculture, small family farms, a lot of wineries. So I wanted to represent agriculture of this area through sunflowers, corn, hops, grapes, pumpkins and just uh, nature, birds, and uh, deer. That's not the only mural that is a part of this project. The city of Caldwell also wanted to use this new empty canvas on the inside of the wall of the new apartments to showcase the roots of this city. And that's where Miguel Angel Almeida comes in. I grew up in Caldwell. His mural represents both farm workers and street vendors, which Almeida says are a big part of the Caldwell community. I feel like they're very important to our communities. You know, farm workers are out there picking the fruits and veggies that we eat. Without them, you know, we wouldn't eat. And then uh, street vendors, you know, like Caldwell has so much good food. And there's times, you know, where I would just go see somebody out with a stand selling elotes or the paletero. So I kind of wanted to honor that. The city hopes that with this mural, it is the start of more art being incorporated to add to the vitality of the city. In Caldwell, Hector Mendoza, Idaho's News Channel 7. Yeah, Caldwell changing every single day. This large-scale mural will be completed by the end of the day tomorrow. The smaller mural inside the new apartment building should be done within the next two weeks.